the, D, uh, the DS lose because of the uh, com combined force of uh, pass and VN, and then playing the ritual and uh, religion issue, then making uh, PS losing this uh, this combined election. There is no doubt that the uh, AMNO and uh, PAS coming together uh, on the question of a uh, toxic and vicious uh, politics of uh, race, uh, of lies, of, uh, of falsehood, of fear, is an important element. And I think this is uh, the challenge that all Malaysians must face now. Do you think um, the voters are really tired or annoying with the PS? Uh, keep saying that the uh, previous government was uh, a democracy and then uh, all, all their bad. So they, they are just um, annoying with it. So they just refuse PS. Do you think it's one of the reasons? I don't think so because if you, if you, if you I, I think uh, uh, if you look at the detailed results, by and large, it's in July. In July is the problem. Uh, it's not in uh, Tanarata. In, in July, the problem of uh, uh, where the majority are Malay and or, our Asli. And although we make some uh, uh, inroads in the uh, Orang Asli areas, it's not uh, even even the Malay areas. It, it, it's not significant enough uh, to overcome uh, the. The the, the 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 combined strength of AMNO and PAS using the, the the very very toxic and vicious politics of lies and fear of race and religion. So I think that is a, a new uh, challenge that we are going to fear, face. And the the summary by election should be interesting to see because uh, uh, we will expect a, a combined AMNO and PAS to try to uh, duplicate uh, uh, that that strategy. And uh, I think that will be. Uh, 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 important uh, uh, by-election to, to watch. Uh, I mean, on the on Khalid Nur, Khalid Nurdin saying that. Uh, Who? Khalid Nurdin saying that. Uh, Khalid, Khalid, Khalid Nurdin. Khalid Nurdin. Ah. Saying that. Uh, well, we wait. It's a it's a we wait for some money. Ah, uh, the uh, Malaysian Malaysian tsunami. Yeah. Uh, well, if if, if Malaysian tsunami is to bring about uh, a better Malaysia, I think uh, I, I, we like to see a part of a Malaysian tsunami. But if this Malay, Malay, Malay tsunami is uh, based on the, on the vicious and toxic politics of race, religion, lies, fear and hatred, I don't think it's good for the country. So you said that um, in Cameron Highland's case, it's a, it's an example of some set, why some sensitivities of some sectors must be respected. Yeah. Is that, is, is that an admission that you the, the campaign approach of uh, Pakatan Harapan has not been able to, to somehow grasp? No, I think the the, it's the, a question of that the, 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 there's a, a, a need for all Malaysians to understand that the, the problems that are faced not only by the Pakatan Harapan government but also by the Malaysian if we are going to trans make this transformation to a new Malaysia. That's all. So what's the strategy uh, for uh, PS and especially TAP uh, to regain the uh, support of uh, Malay voters? I think we must be able to, 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 for them to understand that the, a new Malaysia will be able to fulfil the aspirations of all sectors in this country and not a, a threat. And the president is presented as a threat. But have you, have you been able, has Pakatan been able to... Um, impart that kind of, that message to the rural voters? What well, I think the, 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 the results of the company hasn't showed that we have a long way to go. Obviously, didn't it? Okay? Okay. Right.